I got my truck running and the compressor on because I'm gonna plug that in we got to plug in our uh, rear camera turn the lights on to get it to work there we go so where are we headed <clears throat> we're headed to the uh, Glacier Lake State Park it's about a 1900 acre um, park of hills and valleys it was created when the glaciers moved through the area long ago. It uh, also has a combination of prairie and hardwood forest. And so um, there's a spring-fed lake. There's a fishing pier, I believe. But That means we got to stop and get bait. I don't think you guys care about any of the other rest of it, do you? I didn't uh, think so. We're on the road. Heck yeah, another adventure. Away we go. Okay, we're coming up to a little town called Merrifield, Minnesota. They want to let you know how fast you're going. And they have a gas station here, which is uh, why we're stopping. Because we only have uh, half a tank. So it's a nice little town. We got a little golf cart sales place here. Looks like a biker's club, which is badass. A bar called Harpo's and an abandoned building and your typical resorts and things like that diesel is the same as it was the last trip we made which is 389 a gallon although unleaded has gone up exponentially it was 329 now it's 369 so yeah we'll get some bait here and gas and candy will probably want a snack which is cool I'll, I'll go ahead and allow that. Okay, honey? Thanks. You're very welcome. Have dog, well traveled. <laughs> You're doing a good job, honey. You're doing a good job. Keep that dog out of the driver's seat. Okay, westbound 210, headed to 371, where we're going to be going southbound, apparently. We're going to be heading toward Alexandria, Minnesota. Yeah, you know, that, that seems like that would be going to 210. Yeah. I don't know, we'll just follow the GPS. Yeah, we're good robots. We'll just do whatever the machine tells us. If it says go left, we'll go left. That doesn't matter. This is 2023. Machines rule. She's barking at the, the, the dog statue. Three seventy one South coming up. That's in uh, Baxter, Minnesota. And there's our Walmart. Yay! Water tower. And away we go! Highway driving! Yeah, buddy! The open road! through Fort Ripley right now which is the uh, reserve army base I believe it's very exciting I can tell that you uh, are very interested there's Camp Ripley is that army? It's army yeah army base right here it's an old tank here to mark their uh, their base Little Falls. We'll be getting off at Little Falls, making a right headed toward Alexandria.
27 tour piers or little falls Minnesota. All right, we're out here in the middle of nowhere on the other outskirts of Long Prairie with a 369 a gallon diesel. And that's the cheapest I saw yet, so we had to stop, even though it's like out in the middle of nowhere. <clears throat> Heck yeah. Cornfield across the street. And away we go again. Nobody has any stickers. We're going west on 27. Okay, we still have another hour of drive. And so this is apparently a two and a half to three hour drive. And we're 13 miles out of Osakis, which is right next to Alexandria, Minnesota. So we're going on the other side of that. So it says we have another 50 minute drive or an hour to an hour. Yep, yeah, buddy. We are in the uh, village or city or whatever it is of uh, Osakis, which is I guess its big claim to fame is this lake, Lake Osakis, which I've fished on before. In fact, I have trophy bass hanging on my wall that I caught from this uh, lake, like 50 years ago. It's true, it's true. But yeah, we haven't really been here but one time since and that was just passing through. So it's kind of nice to see this little town. It, it's grown quite a bit. So I just go straight? Go straight. And of course it has its own trail system for bicycles and snowmobilers and whatnot. There was a time when uh, we were gonna actually move here. But I didn't like it because there wasn't as many woods and trees as Brainerd. More farmland. Yeah, this is more farming than anything else. And, you know, typical outdoor 
recreation activity. coming up to a curve or something because she holds on. ends here comes to a dirt road it's nice out here lots of big farms be a first for us. You can see we're very excited. Somebody's really comfortable. <laughs> Turns into a dirt road and the pavement ends right at the park. We just got our new sticker, so we're good to go. State Park sticker, I mean. And we have arrived. Yeah, buddy. I don't know if they're open even. Okay, apparently uh, there's confusion. We didn't get an electric site, but that's not a problem. We got a generator. I just like to run my air conditioning all night long. That's the thing. So we'll see if we can get electric site. If not, it's no big deal. The 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 office doesn't open till 12:30, so we're a little early. As usual. They don't let dogs in the office, which is, like I said, closed anyway. So the uh, employee here just happened to be in and just happened to answer the door when we knocked. So we got some info that we needed. That was nice because she's technically supposed to be in the field, she says, but she's going to see if she can accommodate us with an electric site, if at all possible. But, yeah. Like every park we've ever been to, this looks really nice from the outside. Yeah. Nice and rolling hills. So green. Very lush. So there was a little confusion, like I said. We were originally supposed to be in Space 10, but they upgraded us to Space 19 which does have power. That's something federal parks usually won't do. Yeah, the state parks don't give a shit. Yeah, we got another one, we'll give that to you. So that's cool. So we're gonna go get set up, badass.
Hi. It's time to check stuff out. There's nobody here. There's only a few campers here. A lot of people were leaving as we were coming in. It's a pretty small lake, it looks to be. But it's pretty nice here. It looks like there's a lot to do. There, I like the fact there's not a lot of people. Here's a dump station right here, RV dump station. Right there's the lake. And I look, I, I got my fishing pole attached to my bike right on the handlebar. See that? It looks like it's part of it, don't it? You know, all great adventurers come up with stuff like that. It's true. There's an overlook up here. We went by it coming in. I'll probably have to walk the bike up it, but we'll do what we must. These oak trees are, they look professionally trimmed up. They look nice. Heard a bunch of people talking. And you know, that bicycle's an expensive beginner mountain bike, so I don't want to stray too far. Somebody think it's abandoned. Look at that tree. That's cool. Oh, that overlook goes way up there. I'm gonna go get my bike and I'm gonna ride my bike down it. Now that I'm a, a mountain bike aficionado, yeah, I think I could do that easily. So I'll definitely see you on the top here. I'm just gonna push my bike up there. Yeah, buddy. Then we'll have a look. Pushing it up the hill. Still pushing. This I'm not used to this. All these rolling hills. I'm used to the middle of the woods and lakes everywhere. Not all this farmland. I just got my sock stuck in my bicycle pedal. Get off of there. That gone it. It's only a hundred degrees. I'm used to that. Anyway, there's a trail comes. I'm glad I walked my bike up here because it looks like there's a little trail. I'll check it out. Yeah, it dead ends pretty much here. Glad I did. I know they got a beach and a fishing pier and other stuff here, so we'll go down and check that out. Yeah, there's a little... I just come down this hill here. There's a little trail here. It says to beach. I'd say the boats are pretty filled with water. Must have had that big storm last night fill them up. I can hear people out there enjoying themselves. Let's try our little fishing pole, even though the water here is really shallow. You just never know. You just don't.
they keep trying to get it. They're just too small. <laughs> Oh, this must be the beach. Well, here's the fishing pier. I found it right next to the beach where those kids are playing. They keep biting it. They're just get too small to eat it. I did bring live bait, and I could catch fish all day long here with night crawlers, which I do have. It just doesn't seem that challenging. What kind of critter are you? Huh, definitely not a chipmunk. The coloring on that, it's all camouflaged. Where are you? Huh. I don't know what that is. People showed up to go hiking. There must be some good hiking trails. Wow, this is cool. Must be tent camping spots. A lot of debris because they, like I said, they had a, a big storm yesterday apparently. So I'm glad we missed it from the looks of things. It was a bad one. Look at this debris laying everywhere. You got to come in and clean all this up? I don't think so. Boy, it must have been a bad one. Like I, like I said, it, it's one of those things you got to be here. I mean, it looks worse than it probably is. Backpack sites, half a mile for a hiking club. Okay, I decided to ride up the trail where it says half a mile to a mile or something like that. Hike in camping. And here's what it looks like at the top of the hill, or if you want to call it that. There's more like rolling hills. Farmland. So let's go see where it goes. It looks like it goes all the way up there. Ah! Shit!
cut myself. I don't know how. Okay, here's Oak BP campsite, whatever BP stands for. And I finally found our first map. And where are we at? Does it say? Ooh, this goes a long way. 16 miles. Yeah, we don't want to go that far. Okay, I got a abort. I, I put no bug spray on. And horse flies are by the tens of thousands. I, I put no bug spray on. And horse flies are by the tens of thousands. So I'm not sure where this goes. If I had brought some off, I'd let you know where it goes, but I didn't. Hey, get back here.
Good morning, campers. Well, I slept okay yesterday. It was like a hundred degrees here. Honey, do you know how hot it got yesterday? About a hundred, yeah. It was hot. Let me let you in on a little secret. There is a certain area of this park. There's definitely a certain area, not all areas, but when you get deep into the tree line and the woods area of this park, them horse flies must have just hatched or something. They swarmed me. They just, I came back, I had, I mean, they're gone now because it's the next day, it's morning. But I had just bite marks all up and down my arms. Yeah, it was, it was pretty rad. Is that what they use the word these days? Yeah, it was like, they just, I didn't care, you know, I mean, I mean, I did care, but you know, when you're right in the middle of it, you either accept it or you don't. <laughs> Those are the only two options. So I accepted it. Oh, well, you know, I'll just get chewed up for a little bit till I can get out of here. And that's what I did. Yeah. But it is definitely a really nice park. The lake is really small. The fish that I saw off the dock, there's a a gazillion of them. They were like this big, you know, little bluegills and sunfish and stuff like that. That's just what I could see. I'm sure there's bigger fish in this lake. But, you know, I, I got some some uh, night crawlers that we stopped and picked up at when we got gas. I just don't feel like catching a bunch of little small fish today. So we opted out of the fishing scene and just did more sightseeing than anything. It's it's a really nice park. It's kind of hard to look through all the debris on the ground because I guess a massive storm just came through here and just wrecked everything. I'm glad I was. That was just two days ago. So I'm glad that didn't happen while we were here. But the, the results were undeniable. They're, the park's just a mess. But if you can look through that, which we did, it's a beautiful park and it was worth the trip. We use the uh, park water everywhere we go and we filter it with this filter system. It works really well. I don't know the name of it. Not that it matters. But it's worked out well for us. We don't have to bring a bunch of water. All we got to do is bring this filter system. I mean drinking water. We don't drink out of the water that we fill the tanks with, the camper with. We don't drink that water. I mean, I'm sure it's fine, we just choose not to. So what did you think of the fly hatch? Uh, unfortunately, it was bad, but not where we're at. It was where the tent campers will be or the non-electrical sites. It was I was wondering, there was not one single tent camper in that area. They're all over here. Yeah. Ooh, ouch. Yeah, no, the park's really good, though. I like it. 
So we're going to, we packed up camp and we're just going to go fishing down to the pier. That way, it's quite a ways to the lake by foot for old people. Well, if their flies weren't so bad, it'd be a nice hike, but we were, we're going to shoot alive just going up for her potty break this morning. Her, meaning the dog. Yeah. So we're going to, we packed up camp and we're going to go down to the pier and uh, finish our camping trip. Here. Play it by ear. Here. We made it over to the fishing pier. So, right through that trail, right yonder. You know, one thing I noticed here, how long it has it been since the, you know what, you know, the thing? Yeah, they still have a sign up. Yeah, the thing, outdoors in a park you ready yep. keep your your distance <laughs> especially when you have a dog like the picture shows a dog yeah a dog and a person maybe that's so the dog doesn't bite somebody <laughs> yeah maybe that's what it is yeah. no it's over here oh. here's the beach there was lots of people swimming here yesterday, and they left their stuff. That does look inviting. Yeah, it's very clear water. I'm basically just feeding the fish. Look at that. Whoa, I'm glad I didn't hook that. I got a feeling this is the only size fish we're going to catch off the dock because they are gazillions of these. Cut a bird. <laughs> All right, you guys, before I start this loud machine, thanks for watching. Say goodbye, Snoopy. Snoopy. Yeah. Another sticker in the can. We're getting there. We'll hit them all eventually. Don't you worry. Right? Ain't that right? Snoopy, ain't that right? Snoopy, ain't that right? That's right. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And for your viewing pleasure, Lake Minnewaska. The town of Glenwood, or city, or whatever it is. And they're having a man sale, because the sign says right there. I can go buy a man? Yeah. <laughs> We're taking a different way home, apparently. Yeah. Candy's navigating us. Yeah. Our right's coming up here. Have we been to this town before? I don't believe we've been to this before. Yeah, so this is a first for us. let this guy out because he's got a, a big truck and American flag on his sleeve that's why if it was purple hair Karen probably wouldn't have let him out in a Prius yeah <laughs> <laughs>